considerable significance, great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the arrow two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper, the traffic has been extraordinary, but the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture well has a hit oh he's managed to get it all wrong was he just trying to be a little too clever then i mean it's hard to say but one thing's for sure he needed to stick it away and he knows it Vrani with a definite fell there. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Get the pass he's looking for. Redmond. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out muscled. Forward it goes. That could spell trouble. Has a pop! Beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out. Never mind one. It was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Barcelona get themselves into the lead. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Played back in. Parada plays it forward. It's a promising run he's making on the right. It's a great gallop down the right-hand side. That's oh, good intervention. Things could have got far worse than that. And that's one way to annoy his teammates. And here's the chance to counter. Going through. Let's put a stop to that. De Pablo provides an outlet. Goyos. He's flagged offside. <laughs> Bits and courts. Goyos.
He's had a go! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. All he'd be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Redmond kings it out wide. And there is the half-time whistle. So there you have it, a close fought half of football. But Redmond still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. But if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Marseille need to... Oh, shooting chance! Goal! Marseille are all square. An exhibition in how to finish with a minimum of fuss. Marseille grab the equaliser and we're all square. Look, this is not for the faint-hearted, Peter. This is hard and fast football. Goyos desperately wants to get on the end of this. All the way back and they start again. Goyos. Wittencourt tries to get it forward quickly. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Hoists it forward. Out towards the flank. Up towards the front line. Well positioned to make that interception. De Pablo. Danger averted for now. Fires from distance. Hetic. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. And they're not going to make any further progress now. And he's cut it out. Played in with accuracy. That's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Redmond. Over to the left. Wittencourt is onto it and can take it up. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Goyos plays it out to the flank. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Marseille showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. To Pablo. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. And the finish! 
The last act of a game which they chased to the very end. It